Hi, I'm Pete. And I'm Kaz, and together we're Crafty Caravanners. This month's collaboration video is all about how we chose the caravan we're sitting in. This video is part of a collaboration between a number of YouTubers. We would encourage you to look at the other videos in this month's playlist, and links to those videos will be listed in the description below. So in no particular order, number one for us and for many people is um, the cost. Now I can't say that we really had a budget in mind. We had a caravan that we planned to part exchange for whatever we bought and we did do some rough calculations um, based on the dealer that we were at on how much we could possibly afford on finance and how yep. much we felt comfortable um, as a monthly repayment. Yep. But other than that, we didn't really... We didn't really sit down and have a, a, a massive planning session about it. We, you know, it was on... I think we started talking about this on the way back from a trip to Yorkshire a couple of years ago. Mm. I mean, for me, I, I just, I never really think about money, which is probably why we haven't got any. Um, for me, it's what I want, you know. If it, look, if it looks nice, if, it, if it's got everything I want, then without being ridiculously, you know, silly about it, then if I, if I like it and I want it, we'll, we'll have it. We'll, we'll have it, yes. Number two, um, this was quite an important one for us, and that's the layout. In our old caravan, we had a French bed. So for anybody that doesn't know that, that's the, it's a double bed fixed, but it has the end of the mattress sliced off. Um, so that means whoever's led on that side is going to have their feet dangling over the edge if they're more than five foot four. And talking about slicing off, oh gosh. <laughs> that's just what the thing did to me. I, I think we were watching television and swung my leg out to get out of bed and thought, oh, my knee feels a bit funny and looked down and there was um, a gaping wound, her blood pumping out and a piece of skin hanging off a, a nearby hook. If you get the layout wrong, it might end up in injury or it might just end up irritating you. Or just a, not a decent night's sleep. Sure, but you know, you're probably not going to get it right the first time around. Um, we, d we certainly didn't. You learn from your experiences. So now we're considering an end bedroom with a mid bathroom. We do need to go to a dealership and try out and see, you know, see what's what. Never ever buy a caravan without going and seeing it first. You have to sit in it, you have to get a feel for it. And I think many of our um, YouTuber friends will agree that have been caravanning or motorhoming in a long time. You'll eventually sit in something and you'll go, I can, I can imagine spending time in this because great British weather, sometimes you are gonna have rainy days yep. that, that are so nasty that you don't want, you know, you don't wanna go out walking or whatever. Um, and so sometimes there are gonna be times where you have to spend quite a large amount of time within it. And if you, if you feel it's dark or it, cramped then that's not an enjoyable experience and we found didn't we when we picked this one we kind of sat here and we had a, a different feeling to any of the other vans that we yes. sat in and it's just like yeah we, we can imagine spending time in this so point three is the aesthetics of the vehicle what does it look like inside and out i'm just happy that our caravan has got an inside and an outside <laughs> Our old caravan was quite dated. We wanted something new and modern looking. Um, we wanted something that looked different to all the old traditional caravans that have kind of come through from the 80s, 90s, mm -hmm. 1000s, you know, to something new. So we, we did want, well, I did like the, the new splashback, you know, that's something new um, for caravans looks quite jazzy. Um, we've got some gloss cabinets. Again, it's a look that I like. Um, it does take a lot of cleaning, but it, it, it's just something more modern. Um, we have a kind of beige and red and gray interior, which isn't to everybody's taste. Um, I mean, I can't say necessarily that I would have gone out looking for a caravan that had red accessories. But also, I did. It, it, I didn't feel that I couldn't spend time in it, and I just liked it because it was different. Actually, if it had been purple, that would have been, you know, it needn't have had a bed, a seat, or a cooker. If it was purple, I'd have had it. <laughs> I think I'll be getting a colour paint. <laughs> <laughs> 
So number four um, is the weight of the caravan and that's kind of in relation to um, the tow vehicle that we had and I'll let, let Pete explain that because I'm not really good at weights and measures. <laughs> This caravan is quite weighty as caravans go. It's getting close to 1600 kilograms. If you add the weight of a tow vehicle to that, you'll find you're well over the three and a half ton towing limit that you would have with a B license. Don't let it stop you. If you need to, go and do that BE license. It unlocks the range of possibilities that you're able to tow with. I mean, you can tow up to yeah, a combination of seven tons. Seven tons is a lot. Three and a half tons in the tow vehicle, three and a half tons in the caravan. It's going to be difficult to find a caravan that exceeds three and a half tons. Just do the license. Finally for us, um, a consideration um, was what was our intended use? Before we decided on whether we wanted a caravan or a motorhome or a van conversion, we were, we were, we thought we probably wanted a caravan. Um, but we wanted to look at motorhomes and van conversions. But we're people, we definitely didn't want to site it somewhere and stay there all year because, well, for us, that's just, just not, it's just not us. We, yeah, like to, we like to explore. We like to explore. We like, we to like go the to freedom a, of moving. Yeah, we like to go to a different site. You know, we, we will occasionally go back to a site we've visited before, but there's so many out there. Why not go and visit a different one every time? So we knew we definitely didn't want to site it for, for as a seasonal pitch. So to, before we decided on a caravan, we thought, what are we going to do? What is our holiday going to be? We tend to take lots of long weekends or weekends away rather than one or two week holidays in a chunk. So for us, we wouldn't actually be moving around. We'd be going to one place and it'd be intend staying in that place and using it as a base to go off for our one or two days to explore. So it didn't really make sense to get a motorhome. We think that the motorhome is probably best if you're going to be spending one night here, move on to the next place, perhaps spend two nights, move on to the next site, and so on, and so on, and so on. That would become a gigantic pain pretty quickly with a caravan. It looks like that kind of holiday is much easier in a motorhome or even a camper van. We'd be interested to know what made you decide to pick what you've got, whether it be a motorhome, caravan or camper, etc. So just drop it in the comments below. Thank you for watching this month's video. We'd again like to remind you to watch the other videos in this month's playlist. And the easiest way to do that is to click on the card that's going to be displayed up here somewhere or look in the description below. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye. Bye.